Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. You know, I have found some very interesting uh, issues between truth and deception, truth and falsehood, lies and truth. Do you remember in Exodus uh, chapter 7, verse 12, there's a very powerful story over there where Moses you know, goes to confront Pharaoh with the idea that God says, let my people go. And then Pharaoh uh, gives Moses all the, you know, all the attitude that um, he could master. And then um, Moses, I mean, he had to come to the, a place of uh, proof to prove, uh, to prove that, listen, I, 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 I've been sent by God. Then all of a sudden, I mean, uh, Moses gave a command and said, look, let's throw down the rod. So the rod of Moses was thrown down. And then Pharaoh, I mean, in a guffa, <laughs> laughed and said, wow. I mean, and called his magicians. And the Bible described them as magicians. That is, people who are skilled in the art of deception. People skilled in the art of deception. The Bible said then, Pharaoh called the magicians. And the magicians said, oh, this is very easy. Now, and they threw down their rods. Now, guess what? For Moses, it was one rod. But for the magicians, it was many rods. So, for Moses, singular. And for the magicians, plural. Then the Bible said, after Moses had thrown down his rod, and the magicians had also thrown down their rod in contest. And look at what was very curious to me. The, the snake, the rod, all the rods became snakes. But then the snake of Moses or the rod of Moses began to swallow the multiple rods or snakes of the magicians. You know what? Sometimes there may be only one truth and there may be many falsehoods. Sometimes there may be only one truth and if you look at it, if you look at it there, uh, very carefully, the truth is overcrowded by deception. Or the truth is, is being, uh, they may try to stifle the truth with a lot of deception, smoke screens of deception. But I can tell you this, as surely as God lives, truth would always swallow deception with time. With time. So guess what? The rod of truth will with time swallow the rod of deception or the rod of falsehood. So you know what? You hold to the truth and let, let there be many others. Hold to the truth of God's word. Hold to the truth of the principles that God's word builds in you. Hold to the truth that you know. Hold to that truth that is based on biblical truth. That is, hold to the truth that is the truth. And you know what? Refuse to throw down your rod of deception. Refuse to make a show with deception. No. Because with time, truth will swallow deception. Truth will swallow error. And with time, I can guarantee you this. Like I always say, time will tell. With time, everybody would know what is the truth. Sometimes truth takes a long while and sometimes it looks as if truth is overcrowded by and surrounded by a lot of falsehood and deception. Many things that are untrue Many things that are not right, many things that are not true are circulating. But you hold fast to your truth. With time, the rod of truth would always swallow the rod of deception. I titled today's message, When Snakes Swallow. When Snakes Swallow. The rod of truth would always swallow all the rods of deception with time. See you later.